You'll start your wall by clicking this rectangle tool right here and draw a rectangle on the floor. It'll be blue. And then you're going to type in 8 apostrophe comma 3.5. So just take a look down at the bottom right of the screen. That's what you're typing in. Hit enter. And now you'll get the push pull tool over here or P on the keyboard. And then pull that up to 1.5. Hit enter. Now before we do anything else, we need to select this. Click it three times until it's all blue. Right click it and go to make component and then OK. So now we're going to draw another rectangle on this corner. Click, drag. This time we're going to type in 3.5 comma 1.5 enter and then P for push pull. And we'll pull this up and then we're going to type in 8 apostrophe and then hit enter. From there we will get our select tool again, hit spacebar, triple click this, right click, make component. Now we need to copy this so we'll get our move tool or M on the keyboard. Click a corner, start dragging it in the direction you want it but hit control on your keyboard once, just touch it one time and it will start to copy it. Now type in 16 because studs are 16 inches apart. Hit enter, but we want to do that more than once so we're going to tell it times or x 6. Enter. Now when we zoom out you can see that it did a whole bunch of copies. So now we're going to grab our move tool again Grab the corner on the outside and scoot that over till it snaps to the other corner. Now we need to finish with a top plate. So we'll take this bottom plate here, get our move tool. Again, hit control so we're start so we're copying. And zoom out so you can see it. And then zoom back in once you get up here to the top to make sure you snap with the corner. And click and there is our wall before we finish we need to select the whole thing right click make group